everyone, this is Tochi. Welcome to today's class on talismans, amulets, charms, and such things. Uh, we call them spiritual enhancement tools. Before I get into today's class, I thank you for watching, joining me today. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe so that you will not miss uh, good videos like this one. Give me a thumbs up to encourage me to produce more content like this. So let's get into today's class. Talismans and amulets. Talismans and amulets in particular. One talisman, they're generally used uh, for good luck, for favor, amulets are usually used for protection. Now we have charms in general. Um, we have what we call uh, charms, which are sort of related to bracelet charms, you know, like the little uh, things you have on bracelets that dangle off of the bracelet. Now, the origin of that, like here's one here, you know, this can be called a charm that you put on the bracelet. But the origin of these things, again, were f to influence us spiritually in order to manifest things on a physical level. So what are, what are these things? What are they used for? Why do people use them? Now, each and every one of us has a certain level of spiritual energy, and that energy can be high or low depending on the environment in which we find ourselves. And that's why some people are prone to good things happening to them, and other, people's are, other people are prone to thing, not so good things happening to them, to put it uh, that way. So we use things like talismans or charms. Let me use the term charms here because that would make it easier. We use charms in order to modify our spiritual energy uh, aura to make us attractive to certain kind of spiritual energy or certain kinds of spiritual influences. So let's say for instance, I'm looking for love. I want, I already have my own spiritual energy and I have my spiritual practices that will generally make me attractive to love. But in order to enhance that attraction, I would use a charm. So I would use something, uh, for example, let me use this as an example. This is a favor charm. I would use this to enhance, to boost my already innate spiritual energy or spiritual power. Now, again, remember that all these things are boosters. Just think of them as um, like you have Wi-Fi and then you have you have your Wi-Fi routers and then you have uh, the Wi-Fi nodes that boost the Wi-Fi signal that comes from the routers. Okay, so um, you want to use natural means to boost your spiritual energy. That's what we're going for here. So that's why these kinds of things, that's the real purpose of these things. So let's say I wanted protection. I, I consider myself to be spiritually strong, but in order to boost that strength, I would use a charm that has been specifically enhanced with the energy of protection. Now, people will say to me, does the color matter? It matters to you, but not to the spirit, frankly. Um, I get people getting all bent over and combobulated. Oh, well, you know, red is a color for protection. Gold is a color for prosperity. That's for you. Because when spirit wants to act, spirit doesn't stop and wait and say, well, um, I don't see red around Tochi, so I can't protect her. You see, that doesn't even hold water. It doesn't even make sense, okay? Spirit is not going to say, well, because Tochi is not wearing red, she doesn't have any red on her, therefore I'm not going to protect her. No, okay? Even the creator doesn't operate that way and say, well, she doesn't have red on her, therefore we're not going to protect her today. But however, if she changes her mind and decides to wear red, then we'll protect her. The colors are for us. The smells, the tastes, the sounds, 
they're all for us. So in spiritual practice, I know people get kind of caught up in that. Well, green is for that and red is for that and white is for that. It's for you, the practitioner. It, the reason for those colors, people talk, the need for those colors or smells or sounds is to make you, the practitioner, in alignment with the structure. It's to align you with the structure. It's not for spirit to act. So spirit is not going to say, oh, she's not using um, a black candle. So therefore, we are not going to make her fertile. It doesn't even make sense, does it? No. Okay, so let's talk. go back to our charms. So there are different kinds of charms. Remember again that charms are boosters. Okay, some come with rules and some don't come with rules. I usually say that when you have a charm, you want to make sure that they're effective and you want to keep them in good condition so that they do what they need to do. Now, some will need occasional boosting. Okay, so like for instance, this is a protection charm. This is um, a favor charm. Um, it also has the hand of Hamsa with the evil eye on it. You know, you can see that that's supposed to ward off evil. These, again, are all symbologies for us. We, our spirit sees this and is triggered into doing certain things. So it's just like when you get a vaccination, that immunization triggers your body's antibodies to get to work and to fight off invaders, you know, gets them ready to work. So when we wear these, not only do they boost our own energy in the particular uh, direction that we want to, but it also serves as a, as a, as I would want to say, like a spiritual vaccine for us to keep us alert, to keep us ready, to keep us aware so that we are conscious of things that relate to what we're wearing this for. Let me break that down. For instance, I want favor and love. So I put this on. So because I have this on, my inner self, my unconscious, my subconscious is now aware of opportunities for favor, luck, and good fortune. I have this. So each time I touch it or wear it or look at it, I remember, oh, I'm about to be favored. I have good luck. Um, and so now I am conscious I keep looking for good things. It helps me to look, to scan my horizon, to scan my environment looking for good things. And so it makes me conscious of good. Whereas if I didn't have this on, I'd just be going through, somebody might be saying, well, here's a hundred dollars and I wouldn't even pay attention. But once I have this on, I have this on for a reason because I want favor and good luck to come my way. So I am now conscious of it. I'm looking for it. I'm paying attention to it. Where is good luck? Where is favor? Where are the good things that come to me? So same thing with uh, the protection. It keeps you aware. Am I in a place that is unsafe? Do I need to leave? Um, it makes me pay attention to uncomfortable or dissonant environments. If I'm in a place where I'm not supposed to be, this serves as a reminder to my spirit. You need to get the heck out of Dodge, leave that place. You know, people sometimes get, um, all confused and like, I like to say discombobulated, um, about these things. And they're like, Oh my God, does devil worship has nothing to do with the devil. Devil be minding his own business and people be calling on him. Has nothing to do with the devil. Has to do with your energy. So there are different things that can be made into charms um, for different purposes. This is for grounding. So if you're someone who is very creative, very imaginative, and your mind tends to, to fly away, this is obsidian. I mean, this is a crystal called obsidian. So on its own, Obsidian on its own is very grounding, but then this can be fortified again so that its natural propensity, its natural propensity to ground can be increased. Different objects can be um, empowered. Uh, I believe this was um, 
a client's waist bead that I've kind of tangled. Um, he had it around his waist um, uh, for, I'm trying to remember what that was for. I think he had it ar around his waist for favor from a particular spiritual energy. Um, you can have rings that get empowered. Um, you can have objects that you can hang in your home. I got this as a gift from a guy who was selling Turkish stuff. I bought a Turkish rug and some uh, Turkish silk scarves from him. And then um, he gave me this and he says, here, you can hang this as a decoration. And I kept holding on to this for the longest time. And I'm like, this is really pretty. I mean, look at the detail on that thing, you know, gold thread, a uh, big evil eye on it. I mean, like, look at the detail on this thing. Okay, and this is made in Turkey. This is not made in China, okay? Um, but then, um, wait a minute, this is like peeling off. Anyway, um, so what I did was, I didn't know what to do with it for the longest time. So what I did was I just went ahead and empowered it, okay? I empowered it for protection. Um, and so I put this in my vehicle, okay? Um, you can also have oils... Okay, I got this from Dubai. You can have oils, <coughs> excuse me, that serve um, as charms, you know. I I think uh, what I need to do, and I've been promising to do that for a while, is to do a video on protective oils and protective lotions and stuff like that. But uh, such things do exist. You can get them um, already empowered generally you can have them specifically empowered so um for instance um in dubai and other places in the united arab emirates there are people who work on these kind of things and they will make these lotions and potions and oils for you depending and they will infuse them with spiritual energy um, I think over there they use the Quran. So there are certain verses and prayers and then they invoke certain spiritual energies to infuse the oil so that when you use them, they will perform, perform the job uh, for which uh, they were invoked. So again, understand that all these things, you know, charms can come in a variety of ways. They can be very little, like a ring you put on your finger. They could be like bracelets. They could be like oils, you know, that you can apply on your skin. Uh, they can be like little uh, doodads that you can hang in your home or in your vehicle. They could be stuff you wear in your waist. And then uh, some of the charms that I love are the ones that are not so obvious, you know. Um, even glasses, you know, someone can make their glasses their charm. Okay, they can... Um, they can, um, infuse, that's the word I was thinking of. They can infuse, uh, their daily stuff like wristwatches and glasses, uh, something that they wear every day. So when they put it on, um, you know, and go about their business, now you're looking at it and you're like, you don't even know that that's a charm. It's a charm because again, it's infused with the energy to perform a certain function. So you can go into someone's home and you will not know that they have so many charms in there. I mean, they can have little, you know how people have ornamental stuff in their home. Some of that ornamental stuff could be charms, you know. Um, charms don't have to be like obvious. They don't have to be garish. They don't have to be, um, you know, they, they don't have to be bizarre. Charms can be little um, things that you inconspicuous things or innocuous things that you don't even think or imagine that they are charms. And remember again, the purpose behind charms is to enhance what you already have. A charm will not work if you want it on its own to radically change something for you. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a predominantly negative aura. Um, you have terrible things happen to you, unfortunate things always happening to you, um, and you don't resolve that. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to go get myself um, a good fortune or a favor 
um, and good luck charm. It may work for one day and break down. Why? Because your negative energy, your negative aura has overpowered the energy that's been put in this simple. And then you might go back to the person who gave you that and you're like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. No, the reason why it didn't work is because there were certain things you needed to be on a certain vibrational level for it to work and enhance what you have. These things will not take over what your basic spiritual energy is supposed to do for you. So that's why if you go to a spiritual practitioner who knows exactly what they're doing, they will give you a spiritual cleanse, a bath, all kinds of things to harmonize you first, to get you where you need to be. Then these things will work as they're designed to work. So if you've gone online or gone somewhere and you've bought lotions and potions or charms or objects or whatever, or ask someone to, you know, to charge something for you or charm it for you. And then you're saying, well, this thing is no longer working. That is one of the major reasons those things start working because you yourself are not spiritually attuned to that. You cannot just take something like that, like an oil like this and say, okay, I don't need to do anything else. I don't need to pray. I don't need to do a spiritual cleanse or you just did one spiritual cleanse 10 years ago and you're like, well, I did a spiritual cleanse then, so this ought to work. No, the same way that you bathe every day or at least you're supposed to bathe every day is the same way you're supposed to have regular spiritual cleanses so that things like this can work for you, okay? So that's how these things work. If, again, so if you're purchasing these things or someone is giving something to you, a charm to work for you, a talisman, an amulet, and it's not working, you need to ensure that you are in alignment with what you've been given and you are doing what you can for your own spiritual energy to keep you in alignment so that that thing will keep working for you. Remember again that whatever you're given is supposed to boost and not replace your own spiritual energy. All right. So we come to the end of this class. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot from it. I will be making some videos on how to make uh, make your own protection oils, lotions, uh, uh, favor oils, lotions, and soaps and stuff like that. But remember again, for those things to work, you yourself, you need to be spiritually clean, spiritually positive, and spiritually powerful. So let's end today's class with our invocation. May the creator of our souls always be kind to us and always shine upon us. May our guardian spirits always be with us, love us, and protect us. May our ancestors always support us and love us. We honor all. We come in peace. We come in love. And so it is.